check to see whether the telephone is eating today. Thursday, 9.30 a.m. Second day after hospitalization. Uh, it looks like it's quite hungry. she's quite hungry. Well, at least she's eating. Uh, need some sunlight, warm water. And uh, the morning sun is the best. Uh, that's good news. <coughs> Used to weigh about, <coughs> I think, one, <coughs> one kg. <coughs> she's used mainly to pellets and I uh, can see she's been well cared for with the with the lots of uh, lots of uh, body weight uh, not those emaciated thin terrapins around five years old now this grass this grass actually is not her, her not her favorite you know. it doesn't eat, it doesn't eat veggies so after the Obstruction of the crew car by the egg at the pelvic canal and extraction of the egg using string and needle. The tyrant suffered some loss of appetite for a few days. But uh, now, now it seems that uh, appetite has returned. So I will just give some more. Some more of the pellets to encourage eating. Now terrapins only eat in water and uh, sun sunlight will encourage the synthesis of vitamin D3 by the terrapin as they need sunlight or ultraviolet light to do the synthesis for vitamin D3 which uh, combines with calcium for a good quality shell. As you can see, the shell quality is great in this uh, five-year-old terrapin. Now, let's see, it's a bit of sunlight. A bit of sunlight to warm up the terrapin. So there's a dry area and a wet area. So the dry area, if she feels that she has to come out to dry, she can come out further here to dry, to the bask. If not, then she goes to the shade. Now normally I put the therapy under the morning sun before 11 a.m. to warm up the therapy and to let the therapy has the ultraviolet light. This improves the appetite, as you can see. I guess she has eaten enough, so I don't see her eating anymore. But uh, they could eat more than that. The, the appetite, this, this one should be at least, at least uh, maybe 40 pellets or more a day. Depends on the how much the owner gives but uh, you can see this is an example of a very good condition Singapore Singapore terrapin the red ear slider probably have a very nice aquarium at home Papaya Vets Singapore 20162 
about four days after extraction of the egg pound cloaca at the cloaca there half the egg was coming out and the other half was stuck inside the cloaca causing back obstruction of the bladder, kidneys and the intestines they accounted for the loss of appetite the owner had tried to put the diving in, in a tray of sand but there was an obstruction so so she gonna lay the egg there was only one well formed mineralized egg as you can see from the x-ray there were no other eggs and uh, since this had been taken out the terrapin should be recovering the biovets Singapore 2016 May 10